Hey guys and gals, today I'm going to show you the Suzuki SV1000 rear brake, how to change the pads. Mine's K3 as I said in the front brake pad video, I'm not sure if it's the same throughout the years but definitely I'll show you how to do this one. So again, if I lob this on my head uh, we can get started. Start with a checklist again, um, you should have a ratchet with an extender bar or not, it's up to you for leverage, but this time we will need a 12mm socket and a 14mm socket, they go on these respectively. You will also need a flathead screwdriver. Um, now I've got it attached again to my little ratchet just because I find it easier for leverage and getting things off. Um, you'll find that the rear brake pads are on, or the rear brake calipers on sliders, so there's only one piston, but I'll show you that all later on if we get stuck into it here. And gloves, don't forget gloves. And while I'm at it, you need your rear brake pads, which are here. Brake disc cleaner, wire brush for possible use, copper grease again for the bolts if you want, and a rag to go with the brake disc cleaner. This again is just for the brake disc cleaner fluid that's going to drop off. So if we get started here, need just give that a wee listen, but not the whole way again, as you'll need it. Need to get off the wee screwdriver head there. Now for the 14, 14's on the innermost, or the frontmost side of the caliper. Again, I'll just do that a wee bit and slot on the, this is now the flathead screwdriver bit, which hopefully comes off with relative ease, and it does. Sweet. I believe actually that you will need an allen bolt for this. Um, if I remember correctly, I think that the little screwdriver bit is just a little cap, basically, is the best way to put it. Again, I hope you can see all this. Yes, you'll see. The flathead bit is actually just a little cap, which hides a, if you can see it in there, Allen bolts, so that may or may not be a 5mm. Um, just hedging a bit there, and it is. So, obviously, we'll get that loosened up before we completely take the caliber off, too, just for to make life easier. Basically, um, it all every little helps. So, if we remove the rest of these bolts. A nice harpoon exhaust, it's very dirty. You'll find it's quite lengthy. Ooh, that one's tough. Again, just take your time over this. I'm just trying to show you kind of quickly what all to do. And you'll find that'll slide out. See, it's, it hasn't got much thread on it because that goes into a little rubber bung, I believe. So if we pop off the Caliber, I think you'll find that my brake pads are dead. There we go. Yeah, you can see these brake pads are completely shot to death. So we'll get the rest of this pad retaining pin off just with the 5mm Allen again. And let the pads fall out. This pad retaining pin is nearly worse for getting grime and dirt on it, so you may want to may want to give it a clean. Now you'll see, as I said, forget this open. If you compare the pad on them, look at that. It's a matter of probably half a centimeter to about five mil down to just a couple of mil back of its ruined. Um, just from the piston, as I said to you, if we look on the inside, there is only one piston here. So basically, 
um, this little rubber bit here you see the way it can slide in and out um, it mounts up and then whenever the piston comes out it pushes it, it allows the caliper to slide across and then there's one in there as well maybe you can see it just a wee rubber bit there um, where the other bolt goes into and that just allows the uh, it allows the piston to come out um, one of the pads will stay on this side and the piston will come out until it pushes the other pad onto the disc and then basically the caliper can slide up on the little rubber bits just until it's at the right tension um, it's actually quite I think quite smart I think the as far as I'm aware the SV650S has it on sliders on the front as well um, but the 1000 just the rear um, you see my piston's quite far out there should push in hopefully with a bit of ease push it into wherever you like as probably as far in as you can then we'll get the set that brake pad to the side these two are shot to death so we'll just chuck them in a bit um, get the brake disc cleaner and spray away after that just want to get your brake pads out if I can get this one as well you can see these are gold friend um, I get these off eBay all the time the last I think 5,000 miles old this one is um, so it's not not too bad really could last longer but I shan't be complaining now whenever you're putting this these back into the did it again back into the caliper um, you'll find that just in there there's a little metal clip with a wee bit sticking out and it goes in just here um, so you need to make sure it's all lined up because with the pad retaining pin these can just in fact I'll show you with it through whenever you take the caliper off they'll just fall um, so you need to make sure you have it lined up properly as you're putting it on and it'll go slot in basically just like that um, and just rest in there with the caliper whilst you're at it as well you could um, clean all in around this uh, caliper holder if you wanted um, just for the sake of speed I'm not going to but if we go in here just slot this through both pads and get it tightened up with the now remember this Allen doesn't stop flush there it continues right in because uh, you've got the little cap down to the side that we'll put on soon now remember um, this one with less thread on it with the smooth bit there is the 14 mil uh, that'll go towards the front the 12 mil it has the thread on the outside as opposed to the inside as the inside bit is in the slider so obviously there's no thread needed for that then if we go back to the little cap here um, and the flathead screwdriver we'll actually give this a wee rub of a can with wire brush just to kind of free it up a wee bit there let's see if I can actually show you it sliding across maybe if we're just looking there you go if you've seen the caliper moving there that's just the sliders allowing it to work um, thanks for watching I hope this was of help uh, you'll probably find nothing ever goes to plan first time around but it's just a matter of um, as long as you've got most of the stuff prepared then you'll be ready for Any it. questions stick them in the comments below um, and I'll try and get back to you. See you. By the way, I would normally note the mileage that's on it. This is basically just to keep myself right. So basically, just go over, um, check the mileage that you change that, and then just jot it down in a wee notebook, or just to keep you right, because then you'll know when you last changed it. So I think it's 4,000 miles for oil yet for the oil filter so to just keep you right um, just as a wee side note for you